Hey, I'm Frank Roy, President and Chief Scientist for Delta Waterfowl, and I'm here to talk about our eastern mallard work. If you're an eastern duck hunter, you know mallards have been showing a long-term decline for, for a couple of decades. But what's interesting is that we can split mallards into two different segments. We can talk about the northeastern U.S. mallards, and then we can talk about Canadian mallards. Northeastern U.S. mallards have been the ones declining, and the Canadian population of mallards has been stable or slightly increasing. What's interesting is we cannot distinguish right now with our data set whether this is a survival problem or a production problem. We can't see a decline in age ratios that would indicate poorer production, but we also can't see a decline in survival rates. So we really need to learn more about eastern mallards, and in particular, where are they derived from? What population are we shooting the most? So we're collaborating with Dr. Mike Schumer at State University of New York to study derivation from stable isotopes. All right, let me explain a stable isotope. Let's take carbon, okay? Carbon is a common atom in, in all sorts of living systems, and carbon is typically in the, in, uh, in its normal form, six electrons, six protons, and six neutrons, right? But it could easily have seven neutrons. That's a slightly different stable isotope of carbon. What's cool about isotopes for all sorts of atoms, uh, carbon, nitrogen, phosphate, you name it, they vary regionally. And so you'll have a north-south trend in, in different isotopes and an east-west trend. So by digesting feathers that show what a duck ate when it grew the feathers, you can determine where was the duck from, okay? It's not terribly precise, but within 100 miles or so, okay? And so we've used stable isotopes from wing feathers of mallards that were harvested in the Atlantic Flyway. Mike Schumer and his graduate students digest them and find out where the duck's coming from. And what we're finding is something interesting. It suggests that many of the mallards in the Atlantic Fly were actually Canadian mallards, right? And that's slightly different than what the banding data shows, okay? Now, why might there be a discrepancy? That's something we're going to try and look at this year with uh, our second set of, of data. We're going to take feathers not only from the harvested birds, but from banding locations, right? So, Here's what might happen. A duck is raised in Canada, grows up in Canada, but starts to migrate early in August, comes down to New York and gets banded at New York. It might inappropriately be called a local bird by being banded in New York, when in fact it was raised in Canada. And that's where the stable isotopes from the wing feather samples will tell us where the bird was from. So we're really trying to understand the derivation of mallards in the Atlantic Flyway so we can get at what population are we harvesting. So that's the work we're doing in conjunction with uh, folks at the State University of New York.